Hi guys, Artem here, and it's another vlog, and it's again Sweet Tip Saga. It just continues, continues, and continues. I have a wonderful story for you today. So basically, I've been working really hard to try and find somebody from within Sweet Tips that will be willing to talk to me. So far, no such luck, but I was really close today. Really, really close. So somebody from my crew and yeah that's basically you if you are helping me get information about sweet tips you are part of my crew and i'm forever thankful so somebody from the crew wrote to me uh in instagram i think and they told me like hey this guy this guy probably will give you an interview he's a novice he just started with sweet tips i guess i would assume so and he might give you an interview about sweet tips. My saga again was uh, my aim is to get somebody from the inside to share his opinion or her opinion about the company and most importantly answer all those questions that I have been collecting for a few months now. No such luck. But anyway, so somebody from the crew sent me a message, talk to this guy, he might want to do an interview. I sent him a private message and I was like, yay, he was willing to give me an interview, but he said his English was not good enough. And obviously, if we have interview in, for example, Russian, that will be not, well, that will not be very fun for you if you don't speak Russian. So basically what happened, he then told me about a girl, here is her profile. So he told me about this girl and said, hey, her English is amazing and she would be willing to talk to you and maybe she will give you an interview and maybe we, even we can do like a Zoom session, uh, three of us, you know, this guy, Vanya and Evgenia and uh, yeah, we could talk about sweet tips. So obviously, obviously, before we go any further, I'd like to say that I have nothing against people who are partners in Sweet Tips. I despise the organization and its leaders because they are misleading people in many, many, many ways. And they basically created a buffer, a protection buffer for themselves so that nothing really can happen. And they can always just say like, hey, you were signing a contract or hey, if you don't agree, how about we take it to court in Cyprus? Oh yeah. So anyway, I talked to this girl and it's been really good. I'm very polite. I'm just saying that, hey, I'd like to do an interview. Let's do a live event and let's talk about Sweet Tips. I'd like to know more about you. I'd like to know more about Sweet Tips. Obviously, I didn't mention that I've been doing some critical videos about Sweet Tips because I didn't want to scare her, but... I still was very upward, I guess, honest. I just told her that, hey, I have a channel, go take a look. I didn't do anything to hide my identity. I was just really transparent. The only thing that I didn't do is I didn't tell her that I've been doing some, some well, I don't like the company. Let's say like that. I just said that, hey, there have been some critical opinions about the company and I want to shed some light on sweet tips to talk to somebody from the inside that was my opinion yeah and I still stick to it that that's that's that was my goal nothing else and yeah after some time she just messages me and tells me that hey I don't want to do the interview I found your video where you talk negatively about the company and you kind of cheated, you know, you didn't tell me that you want to talk from this perspective. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, obviously. But uh, when journalists interview people and they ask them hard questions, they never tell you like, hey, I'm going to come from this perspective and I'm going to ask some hard questions. I didn't want to discredit her as a person. I didn't want to attack her as a person. I have nothing except respect for her but unfortunately i have some questions about the company and since she told me she's part of the company she is a partner 
she represents the company and so i thought i would be asking questions about the company and company only nothing personal not a personal attack on her because obviously she has valuable information since she's you know seeing this from the inside yeah she saw my video and that didn't go well i mean she was upset to say the least and i thought well that's unfortunate i don't have now content that i was planning to do today and yeah by the way she cancelled two times saying that she's busy even though i told her that it's gonna be a live event and yeah she was like sorry i'm busy and i was like well thank you very much for letting me know five minutes before the live event anyway I thought I'll make a short video and I'll talk about people behind Sweet Tips. So obviously, you know the founder, the Baldy, you know him really well already. If, if you haven't seen my videos about Sweet Tips, check it right here. Somewhere here, I'll put some cards up and you can, you know, get familiar with the company. And yeah, I just thought that I'll show you some videos and um, talk a little bit about people behind Sweet Tips and about Sweet Tips leaders and the way that they try to influence young people, right? And before we dive into some really good stuff accompanied with, accompanied by some really good music, I just want to say that uh, I asked this girl, this Evgenia, I asked her if, uh, if I can just ask her three questions three questions and if she can just write to me back and provide her answers i will include this you know i will include her answers in this video she blocked me but i will still share those three questions that i wanted to ask her so first question there is nothing really special about sweet tips platform it's just an affiliate network connected website where people click and using affiliate network, their click gets tracked and the person that, you know, basically uh, provided visibility for that product, for that offer and through whom that click was initiated, he gets a commission on sale. Nothing special, just affiliate marketing in a nutshell. So I said that, hey, um, Sweet Tips is just uh, basically a company that made a contract with cg.com and admitad and they're just an affiliate that's it they're just an affiliate like everybody else i can do that in five minutes i can register in cg.com or at admitad and i can put those products apple products nike products whatever on my blog on my website and get commission on every single sale that comes through my channel there's nothing special there they don't have agreements with apple nike yeah, nobody. Ask Apple if they know about Sweet Tips or Nike or some other big company. Yeah, they don't. So basically, I just said, hey, there is no value in their platform. I, I mean, they just basically share the commission they get from affiliate networks. They just share that commission with their users. And if you see some reviews, yeah, in many cases, you cannot even get your cash back. But anyway. So I said there is nothing unique there and they're positioning themselves as if they had agreements with the biggest companies in the world in order to gain trust, right? They could say like, hey, we, we sell Apple products, we sell Nike products and I don't know whatever other products they sell, but like, hey, we, you know, we wouldn't have these huge companies, you know, in agreement with us if we weren't legit. So... That's one way how they influence young people, right? Another thing that I asked her was basically why does Sweet Tips goes out of the way to protect themselves? So normally when a company establishes itself in another country, they open a sister company, right? They have to start hiring people, they have an office, all that, blah, blah, blah. And in many cases, if companies run from, you know, basically from for tax reasons, it makes sense to open a sister company um, in a new country that you are trying to establish yourself in. And uh, Sweet Tips doesn't do that. They have their company in Cyprus. And even though 
they have the most amount of partners in Russia. They don't have a legal entity in Russia um, that basically would be responsible for all the contracts and so forth. Why do they go out of their way to create this buffer? Because obviously that puts you in disadvantageous position if you want to sue them for breach of contract or for whatever liabilities you have to, according to the contract, you have to go to Cyprus. And if you're 18 year old girl from St. Petersburg, well, you don't have the cash. You don't have the cash, you don't have the resources or, or the will, <laughs> willpower to push through and, you know, sue the company in Cyprus. And, and basically the contract is one sided. It's all about sweet tips and you as a partner, nobody. Right. And the third question, I said, all those videos that uh, partners publish and you will see a few very soon uh, where they flash their cash. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check out. Check out my weekly earnings. 400 euros, 200 euros, 1000 euros. Great. You can do this as well. Just DM me. So basically they create this image that money is just like it's just the rain and uh, i i told her that um hey how about taxes do partners pay taxes so they show all that money but you know if you get contacted by a pretty girl from russia or somebody with a russian accent that asks you to join sweet tips zoom always ask them how about the tax do you pay tax can you show me your tax report because obviously if that money is not reported that's not very good and when i mentioned the whole taxation question she blocked me because on her channel as well she flashes some cash and we will see that shortly Oh, and uh, obviously, obviously, it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be internet beef if she didn't uh, threaten to sue me for, I don't know what, for showing publicly available information, providing some social commentary. I don't know. Uh, by the way, last time, one of, one of their top leaders, uh, yeah, this guy, yeah, um, he actually tried to report me for sharing his private inf information or for defamation or whatever and yeah youtube sided with me and they said you didn't do anything wrong you basically <laughs> screen captured his profile on instagram and provided some social commentary that doesn't constitute as breach of whatever so yeah now let's see some videos <laughs> Okay, so that's Evgenia and that's her profile. That's her story publicly available on Instagram. So um, yeah, here she's sharing that she has earned this month already 204 euros. Uh, if you look at average salary, just Google it. Average salary in McDonald's. Yeah, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. So what I'm trying to say, if you're a young person, and you get sucked in with all the nice music and all the iPhones and the cash flashing. Well, you will probably earn more by just working in McDonald's. You don't have to push, you don't have to be an aggressive salesperson that this company requires you to be in order to earn any kind of money. You can just flip some burgers, you know, man. Just get some honest cash. Okay, let's continue. Okay, here, I guess, uh, again, flashing money. Okay, that's not very interesting. Again, here, this time, this 179 euros. And hey, by the way, they say like, hey, we get paid in euros because we are European company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure you do. Uh, that was the reason, really, for real. Yeah. Okay, so uh, flashing cash. So uh, now we move to 400 euros. That's progress. Okay, 
so in one month she earned 834 euros according to her again i'm using only publicly available information on instagram right so yeah basically if you are in us you can earn twice or three times more by just flipping some burgers okay here same same old stuff again yeah okay so they promote their partners and they promote other people who work under them in their structure and here she says that hey alexi made 180 euros in a week again that's not very good but still i mean yeah okay so yes 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 let's go okay again same stuff 119 euros okay so seven days in january she received 148 euros another partner you get the gist so that's Evgenia let's move along so okay you see basically if you look at their stories it's all the same it's all the same but this is where it gets interesting so when they purchase something expensive like an iphone right and again they try to make sure that you know it's always the latest the greatest and they kind of unbox it and share it on instagram and so forth again why would you flash that cash why what's the point to show that you are successful if you are successful then i don't know do something positive to make a change in this world it's very it's i mean people in america in europe in many other countries they're trying to get away from this materialistic way of life right i mean they try to think about i don't know being calm being within the moment trying to um trying to basically kind of live a peaceful meaningful life and not just be rushing buying the latest iphone and spending spending getting in debt and so forth and this goes against all of those values again this works really well for young people if you're young especially imagine this you're in russia you're young there are not, there are not a lot of opportunities you don't have education so you're not really wanted you know on the job market you can get some entry level work but that will not provide you a good life and then boom comes a nice girl fancy pants and tells you hey i just bought yesterday iphone 12 pro max and i'm earning 400 500 euros a week and you can earn that almost doing nothing you just have to sell our product to more people and what is the product the product basically is non-existent you just have to recruit more people yeah again just buying 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 and and check this out i love i love these videos because uh, they meet in one room and somebody unbox a new iphone or or a macbook or something similar and everybody goes like oh my god new iphone oh my god oh my god i'm gonna lose my okay so basically it's just insane I, i'm just looking at it i'm like okay guys are you cool did you take prozac maybe you need to take a chill pill what is happening i mean 
from my perspective as entrepreneur, I'd be thinking, well, if you don't have a lot of money, MacBook or iPhone is not something you should be buying. You should be putting that money aside, creating a buffer, starting to invest that money somehow. You know, if you went from zero, zero salary to, I don't know, 500, 1000 euros a month, MacBook should be last on your priority list. It should be creating a buffer for three to six months first. And then once you're, you know, once you have some solid foundation, you can start, you know, about thinking of how to invest that money. And when you're really young, when you're like in your 20s, the best investment is investing in yourself. So get some courses, learn about affiliate marketing, digital marketing, learn programming. Um, I don't know, join um, a startup, um, start a small venture for yourself, build an online store. I don't know, do something, learn, 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 because the more you learn, the more valuable you'll be in the job market, right? So in the beginning, when you're really young, you have very little money, but you have a lot of time investing that time and money in yourself pays the biggest dividends over the whole period of your life. So MacBook, iPhone, that's some serious, serious BS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you pumped? Do you want to become a Sweet Tips partner? Okay, so that's that's enough of that. Let's move along. Okay, this is higher caliber, 750 euros a month. And guess how he makes that money? He gets more and more people to join Sweet Tips. He gets dividends, benefits and so forth. If you get approached by somebody from Sweet Tips, always ask them and ask them to prove that, hey, do you pay taxes? Show me. Two, how much do you get from cash back? itself because they always say like hey you don't have to um, sell you know you don't have to promote our business you don't have to get more par partners involved you can just sell the product the cashback system so ask them how much do they get from the cashback right in 99 percent 99 of the cases they will receive almost nothing from the cashback platform from promoting the cashback platform, especially the, the higher earners, maybe somebody lower, I don't know. But most of the money, if not everything, comes from recruiting other people. So yeah, this guy, okay, he's all about the cars, great. Okay, they get bonuses from the company, blah, 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 some amateur rap and uh, you probably are familiar with this character uh, he got banned from Instagram as well he opened his another account Instagram account and well you know when you're a famous person like him you need that Instagram why because you need to flash that cash to get some other gullible people to join your scheme so you can buy more and again flash more and again that turns into more people joining your scheme so basically they're dependent on their instagram accounts Deal. Louis Vuitton. Okay. Uh, nice <laughs> Okay, so enough of that, but obviously they always try to show as authentic as possible that they're actually buying those things. They try to convince people that we really have that money. But from just, you know, reading about rich pe people, Amazon, you know, owner of, well, 
ex-CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, or uh, Bill Gates. Can you imagine Bill Gates sitting somewhere in like Louis Vuitton boutique and being like, look how much money I have. That guy could bury everybody in his cash. He could make a sea out of cash and just swim in it. Imagine that Instagram story. Uh, Valera or whatever that guy on the screen now, you know, he got nothing on Bill Gates or Warren Buffett. That dude could start buying countries with the amount of cash he has. Again, doesn't do anything with it. Very humble, dresses smart, but nothing fancy. They don't buy expensive watches that cost, I don't know, half a million, even though they could. They live a very humble life. Money provides them security. They don't have to worry about money, but they don't live for money. But again, Sweet Tips partners, they live for money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this. My favorite clips. Where they try to show me that ATM actually works. So basically, again, what's wrong with this? Yeah, they show that they actually withdraw cash from the ATM, but uh, th thus showing that they have a lot of cash. But again, there is nothing really unique about it. I can ask somebody really rich to just send me 10,000 euros. I withdraw it from the ATM, show some gullible people on Instagram that I have that cash. Look how impressive, how successful I am. And after that, I just return that money to the person that I loaned it from. That's it. There is nothing special there. Show me your tax receipt. You know, if, if, if you're really earning that money, just show how much tax you paid. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Obviously unpacking. What are we unpacking today? Wine bottle. His car that is basically pre-owned, somebody from my crew actually sent me a, a registration information of that car and I think that car had like two previous owners. So yeah, if you're swimming in the millions, why would you buy a pre-owned car? Oh yeah, this is getting boring. Let's go somewhere else. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is their main shtick. So they have different levels, diamond, uh, I don't know, brown poop, whatever that is, you know, and then like megastar and Martian. And every time somebody gets to another level, they have this whole shit show where they try to basically um, go nuts in, in showing support for that person. Like, oh my God, you are now brown poop level. Oh my God, we're so excited. You're amazing. Yeah, check this out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Imagine, imagine somebody like in Microsoft or Google, you know, they get it, <clears throat> yeah, they get a promotion and they're like, oh, oh, oh F yeah, mm, mm, mm. senior engineer, backend, Postgres SQL expert, mm, yeah. This is ridiculous beyond belief. But again, this is part of the culture. If you want to be part of that culture, if this gets your blood pumping, I have some good links in the description below. You can obviously talk to these people and ask their opinion. Again, be nice, be nice. Don't go spamming them. Don't go, you know, sending negative DMs. Yeah, but if you feel that this is the organization you want to be part of, I have some links for you. Uh, 
Okay, again. Money, 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 money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how happy he is. He's part of an MLM company where if he doesn't pay his monthly dues, even his passive income that, you know, basically they talk about will be taken away from him. And if he doesn't bring more suckers in, he will basically not make any money. So, yeah, he's very excited about that possibility. Check it out. That's, that's some brawl out there. Wow. Wow. Okay. How much did he earn? Wait, wait, wait. How much did he earn? What is it? Oh, oh, check this out. Whoa. Nice. Mm. Ah, no, 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 sorry. That was his daily income or, or something. I don't know, whatever. Seven cents though. Making that dough. Okay, so he made 320... 320 euros in a month. White level. That's pretty racist of you. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, yeah, trying to make bad jokes, sorry. But 320 euros in a month, it says here, income for this uh, uh, monthly income or like income this month. Yeah. But look how excited they are for him. They're like, oh my God. Oh my God. You're making that dough. Okay. More stuff. What's up with the hugging? They are so excited. Always hugging. Always hugging. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention. Do you see anybody wearing masks? Do you see anybody wearing masks? This story was recorded today. I, I, I pulled this story from his profile today. Maybe it was posted, you know, seven days ago. Maybe. No, 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 no. What, what am I saying? Um, stories are only available for 24 hours, something like that. So obviously it was recorded like a day ago at the maximum. No, but oh, yeah, nine hours. What I'm talking about here, you can see already nine hours ago. So you don't see anybody wearing masks which leads me to believe that another cultural trait of this organization is uh, helping sp spread of the coronavirus because what they do which basically you shouldn't be able to do in russia is they don't wear masks they are in close proximity to each other there is no social distancing whatsoever and uh, yeah, they don't take any precautions. They are hugging, not wearing masks. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's enough of that. On oh, yeah, Anton Agarvanov. Uh, he's one of the main guys in the scheme, this guy. And notice again how in the previous video nobody was wearing masks. So yeah, this is the guy. They always talk about positive motivation, you know, being charged, pumped. Mm, 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 mm. Basically, if you are like 40, you will see this guy or anybody, anybody from Sweet Tips and you will be just like, no, no. Why? Well, because you can put your critical thinking hat on. I don't have, I don't have a, I don't have a hat. I could have actually put my hat on. Um, I have a really awesome, awesome uh, Rick and Morty hat, but yeah, forgot to take it to my uh, office. Uh, but anyway, if you put your critical thinking hat, if you are like 30, 40, you've already seen, you know, different schemes. You already know when people are trying to push to you something that probably doesn't work, but they're way too 
too into it and you're like yeah there's something fishy about it so uh, people who have more experience life experience they are probably very very bad partners uh, they either quit right away because they don't feel comfortable pushing something so hard or they just don't join the company so their main target audience is you know people from 18 to maybe 30 maximum but preferably somewhere around 20 something that's basically their target audience because those people are on instagram they're easily you know influenced by all the cash and all the nice cars and parties and they want to live that lifestyle without actually going through all the work that you need to go through you need to get some maybe education or some work experience you need to be good in something uh, they kind of provide them with a shortcut like hey contact me pay this money to join the company and you will be able to have what i have this is their main strategy so they're in miami there is the guy there is the main dude Oh, oh, his right hand, right hand man, uh, recently banned by Instagram. Uh, she's really excited about being in this meeting. You can see she's pumped, slouching a bit and falling asleep, probably, but still very much pumped. And yeah. There is another lady, she is, I don't remember her name, Nadia or whatever. And uh, yeah, she's also like the top gun at the company. And yeah, Forum Las Vegas. Whew. Would you want me to go to Las Vegas, September, and see this shit show? I mean, that would have been amazing. I would love to do that. Let's see if I have the resources to do that. But that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Oh, yeah. And they're offering some like vacations in Mexico for their top sellers. So basically, if you brought a lot of people to the company, you know, you brought more suckers in, uh, you will be rewarded by vacation in Mexico oh yeah oh yeah i love this process and then he has he has a crown so basically uh, since they're not wearing any masks and they're in usa i guess the process that he loves is spreading germs in a very tight-knit group and not wearing masks that's that's the process that he probably likes you see the boss he's on it he is all for spreading the germs. This turned out to be a much longer video than I anticipated. I'm still trying to optimize my videos for YouTube and for your viewing pleasure. So if you have some comments, you know the drill. But yeah, guys, just let's sum it up. Company that is not really providing any concrete product, at least a product that would have some value on the marketplace. They are all about flashing cash and so forth. And when you join the company, you pay and you basically get roped in and you have to start inviting other people to make some money. You can promote the product, the cashback platform, but that is far from lucrative, far, far from lucrative. So you will have to, once you get sucked in, you will have to recruit other people, basically. And uh, on top of that, probably nobody, especially in Russia, nobody is paying any taxes on the money that they get. And they work for a company that they can't even sue if something happens because they probably don't have the cash to go to Cyprus. And once you get to the level that you actually have the cash to sue the company, you are too dependent on the company. Why would you sue it? And in the end, in the end, just invest in yourself. If you are 20 something year old in USA, maybe since they are now 
opening USA market or whatever and you've been contacted by somebody from Russia or a Russian speaking person or a pretty girl from Russia uh, asking you to join that Zoom conference uh, where you could learn about an amazing opportunity that could change your life and you get sent a lot of videos where people buy iPhones, MacBooks and they drive Ferraris and all that. Stop. Just stop it. If it was so lucrative, why would they be so aggressively searching new salespeople? If you work for a sales uh, for some company as a salesperson, right? You're selling something. You wouldn't want to have competition. You don't want more salespeople to join the company because now, well, that's that's not a very good position for you. There is competition. There are less clients to go around, and now if there are more salespeople. Uh, there is less opportunity for you. So critically thinking, there is no sense in them wanting to join the company, except there is one reason. They make money when they get you roped in. Once you pay that money to Sweet Tips, they get some of it. And after that, that's it. You'll be the sucker who needs to get other suckers to join. So yeah, so think about it. Why would they want more people to join the company? Yeah. And last, I'm, I'm finishing, I promise. And last, uh, if you're 20 something, this is my advice to you. Somebody who've been through through some really tough times. Save, save money as much as you can go to you know work for mcdonald's there's nothing wrong <laughs> working in mcdonald's there is nothing wrong with being a cleaner you know there is nothing wrong with having an entry level job it gives you a, an, an amazing amount of experience you start to build your network you start to build some work discipline and so forth and save money save money so that you can uh, provide for all the necessities uh, for about three to six months. Basically, you should have three to six months worth of expenses somewhere in the buffer, you know, so that you have that foundation. So if something happens, you have the money to take care of yourself. Once you've done that, invest, invest, invest in yourself, in learning. Learn about, as I mentioned, affiliate marketing if you want to... <laughs> If you want to just bypass sweet tips and make money doing affiliate marketing, which is awesome. You don't have to sell anything to anybody. You don't have to sit on long Zoom calls. You don't have to get people to join some weird company in Cyprus. Just register on cg.com or some other affiliate marketing platforms. Promote their products in a legal, ethical way and you will receive benefits from all the sales that come through you. You don't need sweet tips for that. And, and hey, those percentages are way better than sweet tips. Just learn search engine optimization, digital marketing, affiliate marketing, programming, whatever. Just learn the skills that are currently in demand and will be in demand for a long period of time. Just do that. And once you're valuable enough, once you have enough skill, Join some interesting companies, you know, get an entry level position somewhere in a startup uh, or, you know, start a small Shopify business with your friend. Learn. Don't take too much risk. Just learn, learn, learn. Get that experience. I promise you. It will pay dividends for the rest of your life. But if you join something like Sweet Tips, you will spend your time, your money. You will get a lot of people upset. And in the end... In the end, mark my word, once Sweet Tips goes belly up, I will make my final video and I will tell you that it's finally happened because the founder, he's been doing this before. He started multiple MLM companies before and every time once it starts, you know, once the trend is downward, he exits the company, pockets the cash and boom, lays low for a few years and then starts another MLM company. So, yeah invest in yourself. All right, that's it. It's been a long video. Take care, stay safe and wear a mask. Don't be like sweet tips. Ciao.